In this video, we'll be going over how to ensure your voice agent speaks exactly how you want it to. Hold on, let me think. All right, I've got it. If you don't already know, sometimes it can be frustrating getting your voice agent to correctly pause at the right times, ultimately controlling exactly how and when you want your agent to speak. And in this video, we'll be diving into just that. Let's dive in. Now, I think Vapey already does quite an impressive job of integrating your text-to-speech platforms like Eleven Labs by offering us a really a diverse range of voices, a bunch of speech synthesis settings to ultimately create our more natural and responsive voice agents. However, sometimes it is not enough to rely solely on your assistant prompt and any given Eleven Labs voice where we need a bit more customizability on our voice pacing, emotion, pronunciation, and pauses. I'll give you an example. We have a basic agent here utilizing an 11 Labs voice, Sarah on 11 Turbo V2. And to demonstrate an example of incorrect pausing in a system prompt, we'll lead with the following. Your role is to address any user concerns. You should listen to a user's concern and respond explicitly with the following. I understand your concern, but let me explain how this can actually benefit you. And note we're using these ellipses to denote a pause in the sentence. Off face value, we expect the agent to pause before continuing with, but let me explain. And we'll Talk with this assistant to see exactly how it interprets this. I understand your concern about my voice, but let me explain how this can actually benefit you. So you'll notice there, there was little to no pause after addressing that concern. And often people use these ellipses interchangeably with dashes. So what happens if we insert a dash to indicate a pause? I'm here to address your concern. I'm concerned about your voice. I understand your concern, but let me explain how this can actually benefit you. Some slight pausing there, but ultimately it's not effective. What if we add multiple dashes to indicate a pause? I understand your concern about my voice, but let me explain how this can actually benefit you. My voice is designed... There you go. It really isn't interpreting these symbols as pauses correctly. We can even try and prompt our agent by separating the two. Pause speaking and then continuing with, but let me explain, we'll publish this. I think you're getting the idea here, but to confirm. I'm here to address your concern. I'm concerned about your voice. I understand your concern, but let me explain how this can actually benefit you. My so we really have no control over how long we want that pause to be. And this can become a problem in quite large prompts where we need the agent to explicitly say what we've prompted it to. So this is where the term SSML tagging comes into place. Specifically with Eleven Labs Voice, there are some best practice prompts that you can use to ultimately have more control over these pausing issues as well as pronunciation issues, any emotive issues and pacing of your text to speech output. Now, natively, Vapi doesn't interpret these tags in the agent prompt. This is something that we have to specifically enable on our agent to begin using. I'll take this example pause sentence. Hold on, let me think. Break time, 1.5 seconds. All right, I've got it. We'll publish that and see if this works. Hold on, let me think. Break time equal sign 1.5s. Not gonna work. So how do we actually employ these tags correctly within our vapey agents? It ultimately comes down to one patch request in your agents. Let's take our agent ID here, we'll copy the assistant ID, head over to Postman and we'll do a simple get request where our endpoint is api.vapy.ai assistant forward, forward slash our assistant ID. 
Obviously, we'll add our authorization header, value bearer space your vapey api key and if we send that request and you'll notice under our voice object here there is really no reference to this idea of ssml tagging or passing so how do we employ this it's quite simple we'll change this get request for our specific agent id into a patch request where we're updating an assistant and under body raw we need to append our voice object to include SSML parsing. And to do that, we'll construct a payload like so. Open curly brackets, we're updating the voice, semicolon open curly brackets. We know our model equal to 11 labs, 11 turbo V2 comma, our voice ID we have in our get request payload, Sarah, our provider, 11 labs. And as long as you have the model voice ID and provider, we have enough information to submit a patch request to our agent. And we're gonna add something called enable SSML parsing. So enable capital S, S, M, L, capital P, A, R, S, I, N, G semicolon true this will enable our vapey agent prompt to interpret these tags specified in the 11 labs prompting documentation back over in postman when we have this payload set up correctly making sure we have the model voice id provider we we'll want to spell this correctly provide and enable ssml parsing to true. We can go ahead and send this request now. We'll see a 200 response. You'll notice now, if we run this using the break time 1.5 second tag, it should work. I'm here to address your concern. I'm concerned about your voice. Hold on, let me think. All right, I've got it. And there you have it. So we had a one and a half second pause between think and all right. And we can start to play around with these values. Say we don't want such a big pause, 0.5. And say we want to continue the sentence, add another break time, break space time equal to one second, for example. And then after say, all right, I've got it. What is your name? And then publish, talk with our assistant. Hold on, let me think. All right, I've got it. What is your name? There we have it. Now that we're able to employ these tags, we can also use dashes and ellipses as well properly. Previously, when SSML parsing wasn't enabled, these dashes and ellipses weren't parsed correctly. So instead of using the break time tag, we should be able to use ellipses as well as dashes to indicate longer pauses. If we publish this, talk with assistant. Hold on, let me think. All right, I've got it. Uh, what is your name? And there you have it. Now, in particular, the reason you may want to use this isn't necessarily in use cases like this, but actually in details repeating. Say we have collected a user's phone number or name and are repeating it back to them. If we just type out the number as a conversational example or their name, it often repeats those details back to the user quite quickly. As long as you're patching your assistant with this one simple key and value, you'll be good to go to start incorporating this yourself. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. If you found this video useful, leave a comment below and hit that like button. If you're looking to stay ahead of the AI voice curve, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, I upload weekly, a shorter video for you guys today, but I'll see you next week.